going, Turk. Sit down. Okay, that's good. No more. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tammy Bashore. I'm a wife to professional outdoorsman, mother to two human babies and two fur babies and lover of all things outdoors. I am here to help you navigate happily cohabitating with German short-haired pointers as well as sharing our advent outdoor adventures with you all along the way. So today I want to do part one of a two-part series. I want to talk about a question that I get quite a bit, which is when should I get a second German short hair? How are you supposed to know when it's right time to get two? So in part one, I'm gonna focus on the challenges of owning two German shorthead pointers. Part two will be the positives, but I wanna start with the challenges because I don't wanna sugarcoat and make it sound like I'm sugarcoating having two dogs. Two dogs is hard. It is different, it is difficult. I am someone that did not grow up with dogs, so my perspective may be different than yours if you grew up with dogs your whole life, but I did not get a dog until seven years ago when this guy, right here, came into our life. He was my very first dog. I started with a German short hair. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is all I know. And so I've had to figure out along the way how to cohabitate and live with these crazy, fun, lovable creatures. But I wanted to share my knowledge with all of you who may be in the same position I am, trying to navigate whether or not two is better than one. Obviously, I have two German short hairs. I love them both very much. Berkeley is right over there. He's so cute. And Bentley is right here at my um, legs here. You can't really see him down here. But I have two German short hairs. Now, they are cute. You see, ever seen German short haired puppies? I will throw up a couple photos of these two and they were puppies here, but they are so adorable. They're squishy little bellies, they're soft ears. If you've ever felt a German short hair ear, you know that they are velvet and you fall in love instantly. If I didn't know better, I would probably own a dozen of them because the puppies are so cute. But there are challenges. Two is not easier than one, two is not better than one, two is different than one. And so I want to talk through some of the challenges that I have found through the years um, and maybe even talk about whether or not I would do it again. We'll see. So first thing is, is you now have twice of everything. So when it comes to planning monetarily, you have to buy twice as much food. So make sure that's in your budget. You have twice as many vet visit visits, make sure that's in your budget. If you ever kennel them, you're paying for two instead of one when you kennel them. So the costs can become overwhelming. So you wanna make sure that you are prepared to handle the cost of two dogs and make sure that that doesn't slip your mind that obviously you do have to pay for both of them. There's also twice as much dog hair on the floor to pick up. There's twice as much crazy activity when they are running around. If you've ever seen any of my Instagram stories, you know that mine love to run circles around the dining room table. And now I have two of them running circles around the dining room table. So it's just important to remember that it's twice the noise, twice the crazy, it's twice everything because you now have two. But it's also twice the love. So I'll get into that when I get to part two, which is the positives, but twice the crazy. GSPs are a little bit nuts, and now you have two of them that are a little bit nuts. So if you're anything like us, your dog sleeps in bed with you. Well, it's fine when there's one, um, but when there's two, it takes up a little bit more space. So just be aware if your lifestyle is that your dog sleeps with you, you will now have two sleeping with you. So you're fighting for the covers, you're fighting for space. Um, in my opinion, German short hairs like to be close to you. So if you try to move to get a little bit of space, they just move closer and before you know it, you're both rolling off the side of the bed. Maybe that's just my experience. But two German short hairs in our bed is a lot, but that's our lifestyle. Um, something to think about if your dog also sleeps with you, do you want two of them sleeping with you? Another point is personalities. Dogs, which I didn't know, again, I didn't grow up with dogs, so this is something I've learned in the last seven years. Dogs have quite the personalities, um, and they're different, just like children. So my first dog, he was neurotic. He's a little bit crazy, very high energy. Um, he doesn't sit still. He's a badass hunter, um, but he's not He'll cuddle when he wants to, but he doesn't need a ton of affection. Um, he does demand being pet. He does demand certain things. Um, he doesn't shed much. He's just different. So 
I don't know if I just thought they would be the same. I assumed that that's just the way German short hairs were. Again, I had nothing to base it off of. So when I got a second, I assumed they would be the same. And that is not true. So our second one, Berkeley, who is four years old, he requires a lot of physical touch and a lot of attention. He must be near you, touching you, loving you, and you have to do the same to him when he is with you. Now, he is also one that can be outside, be by himself, and it doesn't bother him, whereas my older one, he at least has to be in the room with us where we are, but he doesn't require the same physical attention. My second one also sheds a lot. So with my first one, I hardly ever had to vacuum, wash floors. In fact, I just thought German short hairs didn't shed. And then I got my second one and that is a lie. German short hair shed a lot and he sheds a lot. Um, and so that was something that you'll wanna think about as well. Just know that uh, your second one may not be exactly like your first one, even if you get them from the same bloodline. Mine come from the same bloodline. My older one is the uncle to the younger one. So they are related, but they are very different. Again, just like children. So if you're a mom like me, just know that your dogs are gonna be different just like your kids are very different. So as you guys know, I do like to hike with my dogs. Now most of the hiking we do is in the winter and I do that because I like them to be off leash. These types of dogs like to run really fast. So I do that off leash. I've talked about that before. So in the summers, like now, we don't do a lot of hiking, which is why my videos typically don't include us out because we just don't do it. Um, but something that I want you to think about is it is harder to keep track of two when you are hiking. When it's one, I can keep track, keep my eye on him wherever he's going, but my two will often go different directions. Again, they're very different personalities and how they do things. And so they will um, challenge me in how I keep track of them. So just know that you have to really pay attention when you're hiking when there's two of them to make sure you know where they are at all times. Um, next was something I guess I didn't really anticipate um, is a larger vehicle. I have to now fit two kennels in the back. When we travel with our dogs, they travel in kennels because it's the safest place for them versus just roaming free in the car. It's just my opinion. Um, and it keeps them very safe if we were to get into an accident. And so I had to actually get a little bit larger vehicle in order to fit the two kennels in the back. I drive a Chevy Traverse, two kennels, the intermediate size of Roughland kennels fit perfectly in the back and so they can travel safely back there. But it is just something you'll want to consider in terms of cost to will you need to upgrade your vehicle if you want a second dog. Now, lastly is one that hit us pretty hard when we got a second one that I have probably found the most impactful. My dogs are fighting in the background if you hear them. Boys, when we only had Bentley, this guy right here, he would come with us everywhere. He would stay in hotels with us. He would get to go boating with us. Um, but since having two, those things are more challenging. Two dogs in a hotel room is crazy. That's a small confined space. Having to take care of two of them in there and keep them from not ruining the entire place was challenging. And so we've opted often not to take them with us on many of the travels that Bentley used to come with us on. Same goes for boat rides. Having two full grown German short hairs on a very confined boat can be challenging um, when there's all sorts of fishing equipment, hooks, that sort of thing that they can get themselves um, in trouble with. So it's just become easier to not take them with on adventures, which does break our hearts at times because we got, I mean, these are very much adventure dogs. They want to go with you places, but two has made that a little bit more challenging. So we find ourselves leaving them behind just a little bit more on certain adventures or maybe just taking them um, one at a time, depending. Um, but that's just something to think about. If you are a family that travels often, what will you be doing with the two dogs when you are gone? Do you have someone that can care for them? Do you have a place that you can take them? Will they come with you? And what are the realities of them coming with you? Because it does pose a challenge with two. One is much easier to travel with. Two just poses separate challenges that you'll just wanna prepare yourself for should you decide to get that second dog. So hopefully these tips have helped you figure out and navigate whether or not two dogs or two German short hairs is right for you. Um, it's definitely challenging at times, worth it at times. You just kind of have to ride that roller coaster and hope that the highs are, are much higher than the lows. So hopefully this helps you. Good luck in your selection of whether or not you decide to get another family friend. Um, I hope you figure out what's right for you. Thanks for watching.